you know, Michael left such a rich roadmap in the, in his melodies and in his delivery. And what's interesting, and I've noticed this from working with a lot of singers, there's certain a caliber of whether it's Mick Jagger or Bono or Michael. Like the one thing they all have in common is um, they're always on. I mean, I, I've worked on songs with Mick Jagger, and like his process is, you know, he'll hum stuff and 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 just when he's finding it, you know, that's the interesting part when you're when you're the the moment of of, of creation. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, Mick Jagger humming something, trying to find his way, is more vibey and interesting than 90% of the people who could spend a week working on a vocal. They'd never get to the point where he starts at, you know, and that's just built into that. And that's what Michael had, you know, that's what a Bono had. Certain people just have that, you know? And I think it's something that it's built into what they do and, and then it's something that they're able to sort of refine and it's almost like sculpting doing vocals with those guys at that level.